I mean, what's proper these days? Should, should women stay home and raise their children, or should men raise themselves? <laughs> Some of you women are laughing a little too hard at that one. I'm just going to be honest here. Because women today, they expect way too much from men. They want a man who has it all. They want a man with a heart of gold, a card of platinum, <laughs> buns of steel. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have feet of clay, hair of gray, and abs of buffet. <laughs> now, I don't know what you folks are in relationships, but I often get things kind of mixed up, kind of turned around, kind of backwards. And I was thinking, you know, there's never really been a love song written for dyslexics. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> what a wonderful name, Kathy. Y H T A K. <laughs> and as I spoke her name one last time, Kathy died and went to heaven. But then without warning, she became gravely ill. <laughs> we were so happy then. <laughs> we had a boy, then a girl. Soon, we were expecting our first. <laughs> Finally, we bought a home, then moved into our first apartment. <laughs> so off we went on our honeymoon. <laughs> Soon, she was dressed in white, walking down the aisle. The next day, I asked her to marry me. <laughs> Y-H-T-A-K. And as we danced the night away, I said, would you care to dance? <laughs> oh, hello. My name is Paul. And then she asked me, what's yours? <laughs> My name is Kathy, with a Y and a K. It was love at first sight. Then suddenly, I saw her. <laughs> All my life, I felt so alone. It's not dyslexic, being easy. <laughs> YHDA. <laughs> 